Welcome back. Um, so today we're reacting to the rules of American football. Um, probably where we should have started when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have done the rules <laughs> in the beginning. But we've, we've done a few American football um, videos now. Um, you seem to be enjoying them, so we're actually going to take time now to learn the rules. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Nin explains the rules of American football. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. Teams are made up of 46 players in the NFL. I did know that. 11 players taking to the field at any one time. The field is 100 yards long by 53 yards wide, with two 10-yard end zones at each end. White markings on the field help players, referees, and spectators keep a track of what's going on. The game starts with a kickoff. The team with possession of the ball is known as the offense, and the team without the ball is the defense. The job of the offense is to move the ball to the field and try and score points. This can be done by either running forwards with the ball, or by throwing it up the field for a teammate to catch. The offense is given four chances, or four downs, to make at least ten yards. If the I knew that part. To move the ball ten... That's not very far. <clears throat> well, yeah, ten you've, yards. Got whole, you've got a whole defensive line trying to stop you. Um, right. But yeah, basically you need to make, if I'm right, you've got, you've got to make ten yards, and then if you make ten yards, yeah, yeah. you get, I think, I don't know if the downs reset, and then you get to try and go another 10 yards. Um, but if you don't make 10 yards after four downs, I think possession is given. He's probably going to tell us. But yeah, <laughs> I think anyway. 10 yards or more, they will retain possession of the ball whilst given another four downs to make another 10 yards. There it is. On your TV screen, you will see this graphic. This tells you what down the team is on, and this tells you how many yards they need to make. If you're also watching this on TV, they will also show you the lines they need to cross in order to yeah, make so their downs. Yeah, so second down, they've got to yeah, make six uh, yards. So the ten yards per four downs. Moving the ball yeah, by that could go on for ages. This includes pulling them to the ground, stopping them from moving forward, or forcing them off the field. If the offense fails to move the ball ten yards within four downs, the ball is given to the defending team at that point. The defending yeah. team will then bring on okay. their offensive players and try and move the ball in the opposite direction so that they can score. You will most likely see the offense kick the ball away on fourth down to make it more difficult for the other team to score. Teams will usually have three different units yeah, of yeah, yeah. players that come on the field at different times. They include the offense. These players will usually come on the field when they have possession of the ball. The offensive unit consists of these positions. The quarterback is the most important player on the field, as he's the one who decides to pass the he's ball. He's the one that throws the ball. Hand it off to a teammate right. so that they can run with it. Or decide to run with it himself. These offensive line positions are usually responsible for protecting the quarterback. The wide receivers are responsible for running down the field to catch the ball thrown by the quarterback. The tight end is responsible for blocking and also catching the ball in the middle of the field. And the running back and fullback is responsible for running with the ball up the field. The defense. These players will usually come on the field when the other team has the ball. The defensive unit consists of these positions. So they got a different shape. So they don't actually match up in shape then compared to when the offense have got the ball. No, and I am I mean I'm guessing the coach can choose to line him up however he sees yeah, yeah, yeah. sees fit for that for the play that he's, he's trying to run. Um or the defense he's the only thing that stands out is the two cornerbacks, they're gonna be looking for the wide receivers. I guess so, yeah. That would make sense, offense, yeah. But um the defensive line is responsible for moving past the offensive line. The linebackers stop running backs coming through the defensive line. And they're also responsible for attacking the quarterback. The cornerbacks try and stop the wide receivers, yep. and the safety Bang. try and stop the pass. Could have done the video on the shelf, mate. <laughs> special teams are special specialist teams. players that come on the field when there's a kick involved. <laughs> Within the special teams, there's a mixture of offensive and defensive players mixed with either a punter or kicker. For oh, a so it's like an all-round team. Turner for defense. Right. Now you know what all the players do. And no, don't get it. So you've got offense, defense, and then you've got um, a special team, which is a mixture of offensive players and defensive players right. and kickers for when the ball has to be kicked upfield. Right, okay. um, when there's a kick involved, yeah. I'm going to pretend like I understand what that means. Yeah, right? yeah, cool. The game cool. is played. But how do you score? In American football, touchdown. there's four different ways of scoring. Number one, four. a touchdown. The main way of scoring is via a touchdown. If the ball is carried into the end zone area or thrown and caught in the end zone, this is a touchdown and is worth six points. Unlike in rugby, you don't need to touch the ball down onto the ground. All you have to do is cross the line with the nose of the ball to score. Number two, extra points. Once a touchdown has been scored, you have the option of kicking it through the uprights for an extra point, 
or try and pass or run the ball into the end zone for an extra two points. Most teams oh, okay. play safe and go with the one point. Yeah, I've, I've always seen them kick. Field goal. At any time, the team with the ball can kick the ball That's between gonna be the rugby, then. crossbar. To do this, they must hand it to a teammate who will hold it down to the ground, ready for the kicker to make a kick. A successful kick scores three points. Number four, a safety. If the defense tackles an offensive player behind his own goal line, the defending team scores two points. The game is played in four 15-minute quarters for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of 60 minutes wins. Ties are rare in American football, that makes and sense. overtime periods are played if necessary to determine the winner. Different leagues have different rules about tie games. Is That's nuts on the kick, so they literally just put the ball down and then they kick it straight away. Like you think about rugby, yeah. like you think back to like Johnny Wilkinson and all of like yeah. players. They spend like minutes sometimes just over that ball, like literally like licking the finger, check the wind. Yeah, that's it. right. Okay, just really think. They even out. put it on that little stamp, don't they? they yeah, exactly. that's it. Yeah, a little yeah. cone and that. Put it on top of yeah. that, and the amount of thought that goes into it like, with that, it's literally like right, bang, go, bang. bang. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Is that all I need to know? Well, you're almost there, but American football is okay. filled with lots of rules, and you'll need to understand a few more of them before playing or watching a game. For example, playing. Fumble. <laughs> if a ball carrier drops the ball, that's a fumble. Any player on the field can recover the ball by diving onto it. The team that recovers a fumble gets possession. I of thought the he was going to cut that up as well. Then. An aggressive defense can regain possession of the ball by catching or intercepting passes that are meant Ooh. for players on the other team. Both God, they absolutely clattered him. Did you see that? Run back into the end zone for touchdowns. Sack. If the defense tackles a quarterback whilst he has possession of the ball, this is known as a sack. This is detrimental to the offense as a down is wasted, and this usually results in a loss of yards. Incomplete yeah. pass. If I've a pass a intended to receive it hits the ground first or is thrown out, all of a sudden, mate. this is ruled an incomplete pass. A down is wasted, and play restarts from the spot of the last down. Penalty. If a player breaks one of the rules, referees will throw flags onto the field. They will determine who made the foul and how many. I saw that. I think yeah. they lose yards. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they lose yards. If a coach disagrees with the decision on the field, they can throw red flags onto the field. The previous play will then be reviewed, and if the challenge is successful, the ruling on the field is reversed. If the challenge is unsuccessful and the ruling on the field so stands, bar, they I suppose. So it's like VAR in football, yeah. yeah. Timeout. English football. If a team wants this to stop the ball, um, what I like about the referees as well in American football is how much they're mic'd up. Um, so they're all the mic'd up. Like you can hear, them, so, yeah, you yeah, can literally better. hear exactly what they're saying. You can hear um, why they're penalising the team and um, what the penalty is going to be. Yeah. Um, and I've just heard recently they're going to they're trialling that in in English football. Are they? Um, at the Club okay. World Cup and at the Women's World Cup, I believe they're right. trialling mic'd up refs yeah, be and mic'd up VAR. Um, so it's really good. That's one thing I do like about the game. You know exactly. There's clarity there on what the ref is, uh, is thinking and and uh, and why he's given what he's given. 100%. Take a break or discuss strategy. There are allowed three timeouts per half. Each timeout lasts 60 seconds and players get a break of 12 minutes at half time. Now this is a lot to take in, but once you start playing or watching American football, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, rate, comment and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these okay. things. And Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, it wasn't. There's a few things I did know. I knew about the the, the four downs and getting ten yards. Um, it's not as complicated as I, I first thought it'd be. No, really. to be fair, I mean, I'm probably, I am probably going to forget most of that. But, yeah, I mean, but when I watch a game now, at least I'll have context on, on what's happening. There's a few things I've definitely learned a few things from that. Well, yeah, I mean, there's only been a handful of videos, and already I'd say that I know a lot more in just a short number of videos and a short number of comments. Absolutely. Than, what I knew at the beginning, so yeah, yeah, my, nice. my knowledge was literally like a touchdown. I kind of knew what that was. I knew that was a goal, and yeah. um, I knew they wore helmets. Well, you've come along. <laughs> you've come along well. Um, yeah. It. yeah, it was a good video. It was a good yeah. video to do. Really good. Um, yeah, hope uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Seeing yeah. us probably make complete idiots of ourselves. If you did, if you did enjoy it, or even if you didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you please like and subscribe yeah. because we're really trying to grow this channel. Um, and we've got we've got loads more content to come. Um, we're just getting started, so yeah, really appreciate the likes, the subscribes, um, the recommendations. Um, yeah, and we'll see you on the next one, hopefully.